Semi-finalist Nadia knows how to play on this stuff. Sloane, you've been looking great. What is working so well for you at the moment on clay? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I had a tough start in Madrid, and I went to St. Malo and got some good matches there, which was really nice, and picked up another title, which is awesome. And just getting comfortable on the clay, is all, it always takes a bit. Obviously, red clay is very different from the clay that we play in the U.S. Um, we play on hard true, which is like a totally different game, basically. So um, being able to get some matches last week on the clay, the real clay, and then <laughs> coming here um, and getting a win today is really nice. Let's talk about that week last week because it was a, it was an exceptional week. You posted a little bit of your week. It was it was mostly food picks, yeah. which which looked fantastic. A lot of crepes and and all sorts of stuff. But <laughs> you picked up a trophy in the process. Yeah. Had some tough tennis along the way. How important is it to be able to get those matches under your belt? What does that do for your game? Yeah. Sometimes you just have to battle. I mean, obviously, I had no. Same Malo was never in my schedule. I had no yeah. idea I was going there. I, after I lost in Madrid, I was contemplating literally everything, and I was like, "Okay, what am I going to do?" And now we have 10 days. The schedule's longer. Like, what happens now? So, um, yeah, I just decided, let me just go and play and see what happens. Obviously, I, yeah. Where I was after Madrid was very different than where I am now, so I'm very happy with that. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously tennis is tough. It's week to week, yeah. and, and I feel like changing services and changing balls. Now, we're on our third ball now in the third tournament. So it's like there's so many things that are always different, and I think having to adjust and adapt, like, it's not easy, but you just do what you can. How much does your mind shift, shift when you get on the dirt? Because you've obviously been a player who's had success on all different surfaces, but when you come to the dirt, um, is, is it just kind of getting a little bit more in that fight mentality? Yeah, I mean, obviously clay is my favorite surface, so I'm happy, always happy to come and play on red clay. And um, I just think that it's just a different type of style. It's a different type of game. There's yeah. a lot more balls. There's a lot more time. There's a lot more sliding. There's just a lot of things. I mean, now, like, all the young kids slide on hard court. I don't know how they do it, but <laughs> they, I mean, it's just, it's totally different. And I feel like yeah. you have a lot more time. Like there's just more to it. And I don't know, I like it. I, I feel like I just tear my ACL just watching that. Have you not <laughs> tried that to be able to start sliding on hard yeah, courts? Yeah, no, that's never, that's, <laughs> that's, I'll save that for the young kids. So tell me a little bit about St. Malo, what you enjoyed off the court. Cause you're in France, you're taking in the culture. I mean, there was a lot of stuff on that food list that you had posted that I didn't even recognize. Oh. So did you really dig in over there? No, it was amazing. The food was the best part of the trip. I mean, the tennis was good, but the, the trophy food... was your last slide. Yeah, no, I was like, well, I mean, come on. Like every day going into St. Malo, I was like, well, I'm just going to make it through this week and I'm going to have a crepe every single day because that's what's going to like get me through and make me happy. And we had a crepe pretty much every day and it worked and everyone was happy. And I probably shouldn't have a crepe for like a year, but that's okay. Key to success, ladies and gentlemen. Have a crepe. You may not play like Sloane Stevens, but you know you can at least you can give it a shot. Um, Sloane, you, you, you've been so open in being able to share a lot about your life with us and all the great work you do off the court as well. Yeah. The Sloane Stevens Foundation doing some wonderful work. About a week ago, you posted about combating loneliness, mm -hmm. and that's that's something that can really be challenging for a lot of tennis players because it's yeah. a very solitary sport. Um, Tell us a little bit about that and how you think that's important and what, what is best to try to be able to combat that. Yeah, so the Surgeon General actually came out with an entire like article about how combating loneliness and obviously being alone and your peers and younger generation of kids now that are don't realize that they are basically in solitude. Like COVID obviously changed a lot of our lives and um, I don't think we all like took a time, like a moment to be like, wow, we tennis players are very alone. Like I you know, when we were in our bubbles, our COVID bubbles, like we literally never left our hotel rooms, right? And it was like the most boring thing on the planet, but it was like, you still have to work, you still have to do your job. And I think looking back now, I realize how alone I am a lot of the times. Like I'm like, oh, I'm fun. Like I like to do stuff. And then I'm like, actually, I don't want to leave my room for like two days. And that's like totally okay with me, but that's like, that's normal for me just because that's how my job has always been, right? Like yeah. it's always been okay to like, you know, you're at a tournament and it's raining and you just stay in your room. Like the only time you really leave is to go eat meals like and and I think a lot of that is not recognizing like when you're in that moment in that situation when it's getting tough and I think especially for tennis players like it does get overwhelming obviously there's a lot of times where you're alone and you're just like with one coach or one physio or sometimes players travel alone completely by themselves and I mean we play an individual sport so you could be playing the person that you want to have lunch with like it's just it's a very difficult lonely sport and I think when we take the human aspect of like oh they're just competing they're just that like there's so many elements to being a tennis player and being a professional athlete and I think people don't actually sit down and like take the time to think about you know their mental health really beautiful topic everyone should check it out Sloan Stevens Foundation um, 
Sloan, you take on Vika as a ranker next. I think all of us, you know, we're going to be grabbing the popcorn, excited to watch <laughs> two, two, you know, great hitters of the ball, especially on a surface like this. Um, how excited are you for that challenge? I'm excited. Um, obviously, I'm playing a lot better, so that's good. Um, <laughs> and I played her in Charleston, which was yep. good. We played a good match there. And obviously, green clay to red clay is very different. So um, I'm excited to get back out there. Obviously, I'm like I said, I'm playing better and um, just trying to get as many matches before the French and get ready. And I saw another tournament next week. And um, yeah, I mean, for this short clay court season, I'm very happy with where I'm at, obviously. And I'm just going to go out there and battle and do my best. Well, your ranking's moving up nicely and you're looking great. So we're going to wish you all the very best of luck. Keep it rolling. Thanks. Sloan Stevens, everyone. Michelle, Tracy, back to you.